I went in my portal, seen you guys, disputed everything on my account. Let's go. Hey, that's how we work. Uh, when you ask for an increase, they ask for the monthly estimate usage. Should I put the credit limit? Yep, exactly. Is Credit Karma good for checking your score? Not for the score, but for your accounts, you can use it for account activity. Credit Karma and other third-party softwares like CreditWise, Credit Sesame, Identity IQ, Smart Credit, they use Vantage scores. If you want your FICO scores, hit the link in the bio, scroll down, it says get your FICO scores for $1. Should I go bankrupt over 12K in debt over a car crash? No. <laughs> That's not enough to go to go bankrupt on, bro. You need to work that out. Work that out. Um, if it wasn't your fault, somebody should be getting sued. Okay, there's a whole bunch of car accident lawyers that are, that are, will jump at the opportunity to go get some money. Okay, so you need to you need to shop around. Type in car accident uh, attorneys in my area. A hundred will pop up. Type, reach out to the first twenty. Tell them what happened, and then whichever one that you feel the best about, go with them. Um, if you miss a couple payments, then pay off your credit card score. Go back up. Your score will go back up due to the utilization decreasing, but the late payments, you're going to have to dispute those. So if y'all want to dispute those late payments on your own, hit the link in the bio, grab the how-to guides. I got the step-by-step -step for late payments in there. If you need the letters and all that, at the bottom of the guide, it says King Credit Bundle. King Credit Bundle. Okay, get that. It has all my digital products, all my letters. How does the extra card work? So the extra card works just like any other credit card, right? Only difference is you don't get a credit limit. You get a spending power. Like similar to an Amex, right? Similar to an Amex. What's different though, you can have a balance with your uh, extra card. Your Amexes, they don't like you having the balance. So, you know, no hard inquiry. You attach your, you link your bank through Plaid and they see you got a thousand in your bank account. They might give you a $600 spending limit, right? It goes based off your spending limit, um, based off your bank account. Sorry. Okay, let's go. Please tell me how and where to dispute anything on my report. Please tell me how. Okay, so for most accounts, it's going to be getting your credit report, finding inaccuracies, updating personal information, opt out, opting out of secondary bureaus, and disputing inquiries not attached to open accounts. Those are your first five steps. A then is down to disputing, depending on what type of account it is. I'll walk you through all that, right? So hit the link in the bio, grab the how-to guides. Those are all free. Those are the step-by-steps. And if you need a video to show you how to find inaccuracies, um, at the, the, the link right under the how-to guides, it's called Fix Your Credit in Five Steps webinar. We go over real credit reports, finding inaccuracies to use uh, in your dispute letters, right? So those two hand in hand, ain't no reason y'all shouldn't be getting to work, right? And if you wanna put a little extra on it, get the King Credit Bundle 35, okay? I can't make it lower than that, um, that has all the letters and everything in there. So it's up to you. Space and opportunity. Let's work.